Hello everyone, it's uh, DuckFade07 with another video. We are playing uh, Sultai uh, Crab Wine again. Uh, this time, uh, bit, the list is a uh, bit different. A lot of changes, so we, I'm, uh, uh, I was playing in last video. Uh, if you saw it, I was playing Force of Negation in the main. And uh, I really liked having that uh, uh, free card to play against a lot of matchups like... Uh, uh, Rhinos is very popular right now, Hammer Time to counter the Hammer, and then uh, Creativity, of course, to counter the Creativity deck is, is not always uh, so fast that it can win before turn 3-4, uh, so uh, sometimes you just need to deal with uh, Creativity to win. And I was playing uh, Force of Negation in the main in the last version you could see on my channel, and I really liked that uh, I always had a blue card in hand, that uh, that I have no use of, and I really liked having that uh, free uh, free interaction uh, in this deck. And uh, after after playing few leagues with the force, I realized I really like this uh, free card interaction. And uh, kind of uh, uh, sometimes force was a problem. I would mill over few forces, and my goyf was um, too small. Uh, so I uh, really wanted to up the creature count, so I uh, thought of playing a Grief instead. It's a uh, deck has uh, a lot of black cards too, that sometimes are stuck in hand, not doing much, like Creeping Chill, for example. Sometimes uh, Amalgam too, of course. Uh, uh, Rotting Grats, a Grave Claw Crawler, uh, a lot of examples, really. So um, I put uh, four Griefs in, and... Uh, I, uh, when putting Graves in, I decided to also put some Malakers uh, Rebirth. I'm still on uh, 20 lands, uh, but this time uh, with 4 uh, model uh, lands, 4 Malakers Rebirth, which can be used on turn 1 to scam Fury into play, So uh, and but also as a protection spell later for the Hedron Crab, for the uh, Urber Glorgoyf, and uh, any other creature really. Okay, uh, so... Um, uh, that is it. Uh, the very uh, <clears throat> very big change, but uh, we are just playing another free spell. Uh, then uh, uh, kind of eight eight new cards in the main. I had to cut some lands. I had to trim uh, third uh, rotting reds. Uh, nothing uh, nothing too much, of course. Just uh, trimmed one red, uh, and uh, that's basically it. And some lands, and cut the fourth from the main to. Uh, add these cards and they still have the same land count, just this time playing four Molecules of Birds. Uh, on the sideboard, uh, I have to get rid of the Fatal Pushes to fit uh, Force of Negations and Subtlety. I think these are more important at the moment. So without Fatal Push, of course, I don't have a solution for Doughty Void Walker, but I just haven't played uh, against Doughty for so long that... Uh, just um, didn't feel uh, very important at the moment. Of course, if that changes, I'll be first to put the Fatal Push back in. Um, okay, so uh, that's it. Uh, and now we have Grief in the main, and the Grief can help uh, get rid of Doughty 2 and get rid of uh, some problematic cards. And uh, post board, we have Subtlety 2, uh, Force of Negation, a lot of free spells. Sometimes you end up playing both subtlety and force and grief uh, and just have an insane amount of um, uh, interaction, a free interaction. And uh, when you follow the turn one grief with, uh, with Hedron Crab uh, fetch, uh, it's just uh, it's very powerful stuff can happen. You can mill over uh, Creeping Chills, Narcomoeba, Zamalgams and... Uh, Urberg Lurgov is also very good uh, following spell and it can end the game very quickly after after messing with your opponent's hand with the grief, of course. So uh, that is it. Uh, I played uh, one uh, league so far with this deck, ended up 4-1. Uh, uh, played a league before that with the old list, playing force in the main, uh, also ended up 4-1. So deck is just performing uh, very, very strong. Uh, at the moment, and uh, uh, we'll now go uh, through the, through that uh, league I played. 
Okay, this was this was that league. I won. Uh, I played these three games in the morning. All uh, all ended up 2-0, and then I lost uh, the easiest matchup in the world. Uh, after I made a pause after this game, and then when I started playing again, MTGO Shuffler just uh, didn't allow me to draw any anything good. But uh, I was able to win uh, last round. So we'll just start from the beginning. Uh, the first match of uh, this uh, last league I played. Okay, I'll just remove this. Okay, I had to mulligan to the six. Uh, I'm sorry, to five, but uh, five very good cards. Have, uh, sorry, not five very good cards, but one, uh, one very good card. And that one very good card is uh, Hedron Crab. Uh, often you can just uh, risk and keep. Uh, the hand because of that uh, one Hedron Crab uh, can really do wonders. Uh, so I just uh, do the fetch immediately. I go for the Grey Crawler, bring back Vengevine. My opponent didn't have uh, instant speed removal for Crab. They just go fetch Godless Shrine. I have no idea what they're playing. Uh, they just uh, concede. It could be uh, uh, Asper Reanimator is pretty popular now, so maybe that. Okay, uh, so I just went... Um, my opponent concedes on turn 2, so it was time for uh, game 2. I boarded in some cards. I boarded in Leyline of the Void. And I decided to keep one lander. It was, uh, it was a devoted Druid combo in the end. I ended up drawing uh, Grief and doing the scam thing on turn 1. Uh, removing... Uh, Find Artisan and Giver of Runes from my opponent's hand, leaving them with uh, just Tyvar, but I had a ley line on the field, so Tyvar wasn't really doing anything, so I was just able to uh, continue uh, attacking with Grief. Uh, Grief has menace, so my opponent wasn't able to uh, block it with uh, just one creature, and Tyvar just uh, was useless at this point. So uh, I just... Uh, my opponent was in a top deck mode. Nothing in hand, just a few lands. Uh, so uh, I uh, I played the grave crawler. My opponent uh, plays the doty, but uh, kind of uh, don't really even have the opportunity to use my graveyard this game. So just. Playing this game without uh, graveyard, I draw Hedron Crab, but decide to keep it in hand for the subtlety. Uh, so I just attack with both my opponent treats with Giver and Grave Crawler. Opponent is on seven life, uh, which means this is a, a three turn clock. My opponent is in top deck mode still. And they draw a Noble Hierarch. I go the subtlety because. Uh, with Hierarch, they also have a 3 turn clock and they are faster with, than me. So I decided to use the subtlety here to make them slower. Uh, I get to attack uh, here first. My opponent stayed back, probably to use uh, subtlety in case um, I try to play something, but uh, they did draw into Boseju, destroying my. Leyline, I got uh, the third land, but the opponent got also the Sanctifier, still no uh, second blocker, so I'm able to attack with Grief. And uh, my opponent's Tyvar is now active. They can use it. I draw into Grief, my, but my opponent doesn't have any cards in hand, uh, so I just attack with Grief. Put my opponent on one life and hope to draw the land the next turn for the Vengevine. My opponent uses the Tyvar again, brings back the Lion Sash. Now we have more Graveyard Hate, we have Sanctify, we have Dot, we have the Lion Sash, so everything possible. I go for the Grief, scam again, check their hand, their hand is just a land, so it's safe to kill them with the Vengevine. I just hard cast my Vengevine and finish them off. It was a very cool race. My opponent had the Dati, Sanctifier, Lies, Sash, but nothing that uh, that matters against uh, turn one, Scam Grief, and that was uh, 
just a turn one grief and Vengevine was enough to win this game. So uh, that was uh, that was game one. Our first game was so quick. So uh, let's check out the match two. I had to mulligan this. Uh, kept five five uh, five cards, just two Urbal Gurbugs and uh, one uh, Vengevine. My opponent revealed Giganta. So my plan here was just to uh, hold until three, turn three to uh, cast uh, cast Urbar Glurgov with Kicker, then try to cast another Urbar Glurgov next turn. My opponent had the Inquisition to discard one of the Goyfs. And uh, my, my hand really wasn't uh, good, but my opponent's hand was better because they were uh, worse because they were stuck on lands. So I was just able to jam Durba Glurgoyf and try to hold uh, hold the land for the Vengevine next turn. But I draw into Hadron Crab side, decide to use uh, use its ability. I got a Creeping Chill, I got two Vengevines into the field, the Grave Crawler, but I still need the uh, Zombie. And uh, my opponent didn't draw into the land again and they just concede and that was it. Very, very weird game one. Uh, my opponent just uh, seems to have kept one lander and just didn't have uh, much. I didn't even know what exactly my opponent was uh, playing. But I saw the overgrown tomb, so uh, I, <clears throat> I prepared for Junt. They went for uh, turn one Ragawan. I played my supplier. If they kill the supplier, I'm fine with it. They mill some more cards, nothing special. Uh, exile my Vengevine. So I just played the favor, might hold the uh, Malakris Rebirth. So I had the option to uh, to play the Malakris Rebirth on Havar Might here, but I decided to, to just hold it later. It will be probably better if I just use it and uh, kill the Urza Saga immediately. I wanted to hold it for my turn to protect the Hedron Crab, but uh, it ended up not being uh, relevant. I bring back uh, Vengevines, attack with both of them. My opponent was already on a 5 life here, and I had the Witterbloom command. It would definitely be better. I don't know what happened. I, my opponent just uh, conceded here, I think. Okay, that was uh, that was it. Uh, very, very uh, weird and quick games against this opponent. I'm not even sure if they played the regular junt or whatever. But yeah, uh, okay. So, uh, this was kind of a lucky win, I guess. Okay, so again, keeping a hand uh, with the ability to scam uh, grief turn one, then go for the gaze on turn two, then play kicked uh, Urba Glurgoyf on turn three, so pretty good. I play the grief, see my opponent's hand. But my opponent uh, immediately goes for Solitude. And I see their hand, uh, uh, discard uh, the counter spell and leave them with three, three lands in hand. So I just play the Malakis Rebirth to be able to kick Goyf on turn three. And then go for the double gaze next turn so my Goyf can uh, be bigger for the attack. I just. Uh, I find another Goyf, so I had uh, I had a Gaze in Graveyard, I have uh, go another Goyf in hand, I decide to use the Gaze uh, this turn and then go uh, for the double kick with the second Goyf. I use my Gaze in response to their, um, to their Achmed Charm and uh, leave uh, another Goyf on the top of my deck, so my plan was just to continue um, continue uh, casting the Goyfs for the rest of the game. I uh, play the Rotting Rats from my hand to be able to kill the Jays immediately so they can't bounce 
uh, bounce uh, my wolf again, attack the Jace with, with both creatures, uh, trigger uh, also trigger uh, Amalgam, and play one Goyf, and have two more in hand to uh, to grow this one on the field. Okay, so I just uh, I just go for Goyf again with the double kicker. My opponent has the counter spell. I still grows uh, the one Goyf on the field. I decide to kill the Teferi. Um, and again go for the double kicker. Uh, I mill Narkumima, I mill uh, Creeping Chill, I mill uh, Otherworldly Gaze. Maybe uh, my opponent uh, went for the Solitude here, but oh, for some reason decides to exile the Goyf that was uh, blocking and not the one attacking. And they play the Kahira, attack with the Vigilance, uh, but I play. Um, I play gaze in my upkeep. I put another gaze. Put another gaze in. I play the hadron crab. I play the fetch. Uh, I always, as you can see, I always uh, crack the fetch before milling the first ability. It's uh, that way. I could uh, maybe mill over my swamp and not be able to get it. So I get the wander into the graveyard to just attack with everything uh, in the air and uh, finish off my opponent. Okay, so um, you could maybe see some of these uh, opponent, uh, some of these games seem like uh, too easy, but. Uh, uh, opponent, uh, uh, they're just not prepared to face a deck like this, and uh, their deck uh, they keep two slow hands, uh, not being able to uh, deal with so many early uh, pressure creatures, and they just concede so early before you even see what uh, they're actually doing. Okay, my opponent here plays the resting piece, which definitely meant uh, I have to be prepared for the longer game, so I just uh, cast my uh, creatures so I can uh, attack with them. This is uh, blue-white control, so uh, they don't have too many uh, single uh, removals, just uh, just this uh, hate like uh, a hello, hello Moonlight. They have Supreme Verdict, but they have to draw into that, of course. So just attack with my little guys here, 5 damage each turn, it's a very good clock. And uh, in the meantime, doing uh, doing a lot of stuff here uh, with, uh, with the other worldly gaze, trying to find uh, removal for the rest in peace or just a land for the Vengevine. So I did find it, I cast my Vengevine. Uh, it was exactly that 9 damage, but my opponent had the cutter spell, still attacked for 5, so I have the lethal again uh, next turn. Pretty good situation, even if my opponent plays the Supreme Verdict. I still kill them, they really need Solitude. Uh, so I, uh, I get the Witterbloom command. Witterbloom command is so good here. I uh, go for it, uh, dis uh, destroy the rest in peace and uh, deal 2 damage to them to finish them off. And uh, that was it. And that was uh, game 2. So very, very, very quick uh, first 3 games. We'll now watch... Um, Last win, then we'll watch the defeat. Okay, had to mulligan uh, a lot here. Mulligan on uh, four cards, but uh, four very good ones. Uh, Hedron Crab, Stitcher Supplier. You really don't need uh, much more than that. If I can mill over some uh, good cards, that's basically... Uh, uh, we, you can easily win with a hand like this uh, to mulligan to four. My opponent goes for the Renan six. Ren I don't care much about Renan six, but I'm still playing. Uh, Unfortunately, I drew into this red It would be so much better if I uh, just uh, had it in graveyard, of course. I play uh, the Stitcher Supplier, get Nerkumipa, get the Amalgam back, back. Unfortunately, Vengevine ended up being in my hand, but. Uh, but it was okay still. I find another land, a fetch to trigger the Hadron Crab again. 
I uh, did uh, another creepy chill ability. Attack my opponent uh, for four, put them on six life. And they, it gets my opponent didn't have uh, didn't have creativity on this turn. They just played fable. Uh, I go for uh, otherworldly gaze again. Put again some vengevine in into graveyard. I have a land in my uh, hands. I play the supplier. I have the grave crawler in the yard to trigger the vengevine. No wonder, unfortunately, so my opponent uh, can block here. But they're, they're uh, low on life here, so I trigger both of my amalgams, which is good for the next turn, but not really if they have uh, the creativity. So I trigger uh, two of my amalgams. So I have a lot of creatures on the field at the moment. My opponent survived on one life. Uh, they go for the double attack, get the treasure tokens. Uh, I block with the stitcher supplier in case I mill over um, creeping chill. And my opponent goes for a double archon. I discard a uh, vengevine, but I have two grave crawlers in, in graveyard to trigger them again. Play uh, the play the uh, Otherworldly Gaze again, I triggered, uh, play the fetch, have the creepy chill. I play the two Grave Crawlers, get uh, three Vengevines back uh, to attack immediately. I didn't uh, find the Wonder, but uh, unfortunately had enough damage to uh, finish my opponent even without Wonder. So that was, um, I succeeded to win uh, over uh, Double Archon. Or I haven't, I just forgot what has what happened here. Oh yeah, sorry, I didn't win here. I've completely forgot about this. <laughs> okay, so uh, I actually lost this one. I forgot, completely forgot this one, but I won the next two matches. Okay, that was funny. Uh, again, Mulligan. Keeping two stitcher supplier hand, it's not the greatest hand, but kind of keepable. So I just go for the watery grave, have the stitcher supplier have our might for the next turn to trigger try to trigger Venge Wine. I milled over two other worldly cases and I decided to go for the gaze first to have a better chance of triggering. Uh, maybe finding a Vengevine or something like that. I find the Hezron Crab on top of the library. My opponent plays the Wren. Uh, I play my Hezron Crab, uh, gets the, the fetch, double ability. I trigger Vengevine, a supplier triggering an Archamoeba. Play the Grey Crawler from the graveyard, attack for uh, 6 damage, so putting my opponent on uh, 10 life. Uh, pretty good, still have a very good attack uh, next turn. Play the Swamp, again mill 3 cards. I have the Might and the Malachi Rebirth. Nothing special, but I have a lot of damage here. Uh, attacking for lethal. Not lethal, but uh, when my opponent fetched, now it is lethal. And they go for uh, Prismari on Narcomiba. They should have maybe gone for the Great Crawler so they would survive on two life. Then maybe try to go for the creativity. But uh, they conceded after that. Yeah, that was it. Okay, so uh, that was uh, easy win in game two against creativity. A bit harder on the draw, but I succeeded to win anyway. I had the grief, uh, grief scam on turn one plus the Hedron Crab uh, fetch on for turn two plus uh, followed with the otherworldly gaze, so pretty good hand, uh, pretty brutal. So I went for the grief turn one. Uh, look at my opponent's hand. I decided to uh, discard um, Fire Eyes and discard the Fable. So this way. This way my opponent doesn't have a way to discard the Archon 
from their hand, maybe draw into persist or something like that. Uh, just uh, I don't care much about uh, Ren giving them uh, extra lands that much. I uh, this was this was my graveyard. I had a uh, lot of cards there, multiple venge wines, otherworldly gazes, uh, amalgams, a lot of stuff here, but not really a way to. Trigger it because uh, my opponent, uh, opponent pinged uh, Stitcher Supply with Venom Six, so uh, I was I decided to go for, to kill the grief uh, to kill the Venom Six this turn, so my opponent can't uh, my opponent can't ping it, and uh, I was able to play the Grave Crawler now from the graveyard, both of them get my uh, Venge Vines back, trigger the Amalgam, attack immediately. For a lot of damage, uh, unblockable, all creatures have flying. My opponent has the bolt uh, to survive on a 5 life, but their hand is at the moment Steam Vent, Scalding Tarn, and Darkon. They drew into another card, and uh, uh, that was the game. Okay, so uh, Grief won me this game definitely, and we'll now watch the defeat uh, in this league. Very the entire league was a kind of weird, uh, weird games. Uh, in the map, in some matches, my opponent didn't have much, and in this match, uh, this was actually the only match where Urbor Gurgov didn't uh, wasn't uh, um, as good because I was stuck on mana. When you're stuck on mana and uh, trying to do, I kind of maybe also didn't play it uh, perfect. I could have played much better. So my opponent just started with Brennan 6, I don't care much about Brennan 6. I went for the Hedron Crab, uh, I should have gone maybe for the Urber Burgov here immediately, and then pump it uh, next turn with the Hedron Crab. I missed uh, the opportunity to uh, to try to do something. I got uh, Amiiba here with Dumbo Guns, which was obviously uh, pretty good. And then uh, I decided to uh, put the grief into the graveyard and Stitcher Supplier. Maybe this was a mistake. Then I drew into uh, Narcomiba, which was a pretty, pretty bad draw. Maybe I should have kept the grief on top. Then I went, I, just, I was just looking for a third land for the fetch or any land. So I decided to play Otherworldly Gaze again. I, Milled over six cards already, and still didn't uh, didn't find it. My opponent was able to play the Solitude plus Restoration Angel here, and uh, kind of my all of my pressure just ended with um, with um, not being able to find the third land. If I had the third land, I'd probably be able to win this. So. Um, Lot of options now, but again, just just two uh, mana. Uh, sorry, just uh, <clears throat> uh, but just uh, two low on mana to double spell here. So I had an option to either go uh, hunt the dead or uh, play the other worldly gaze again, or just play the Urba Lurgov. I decided it's best to go for the Lurgov, but they had another tutor in hand. To find the Kiki Jiki and uh, and the game, so uh, that was it. Uh, just the problem was that I was stuck with mana, and I played uh, Otherworldly Gaze in two upkeeps, hoping to find the fetch, which would probably win me the game, but didn't. Uh, just I wasn't able to find it, and uh, yeah, it was kind of really, really, uh, really bad loss, uh, unlucky. Uh, two uh, two upkeeps, two Otherworldly Gazes. Uh, looking through eight cards and not finding a land uh, was pretty bad. So, okay, uh, kept um, not a very good hand because uh, didn't have a fetch to play on turn two. Immediately go grave crawler. I just uh, had to go for the hedron crab, play the rebirth mill three, and then uh, see if it if he will survive to go try to go. Um, Play something uh, next turn, but my uh, my <coughs> crab immediately died. Also, wasn't able to play the Witterbloom command on turn three to try to kill uh, birds immediately, so they were able to double spell next turn. 
Uh, I killed the hierarch. They had still had four mana with birds. I just played my uh, Urberg Urberg. Urberg Urberg was a huge 8 9 creature. 9 10. But um, it didn't uh, work out. I uh, kept a grief on top because I had a uh, Malakrizer bird. But unfortunately, my opponent had the endurance here, which obviously endurance uh, is pretty good in this situation and they already had a restoration angel i was able to discard the uh, deal jami's call and kiki jiki i had to pay two life so i'm on uh, nine life here and i my urber blue was uh, too small here i uh, didn't have any more enablers to uh, i kind of feel like i played uh, i played this uh, maybe i played this badly and uh, didn't have uh, much chance in this situation after the endurance so uh, drew into another land and that was the loss okay so uh, kind of a pretty a pretty weird league this was the first league with the deck but the league i played uh, before that with a similar uh, list just playing force of negation instead of a uh, grief and uh, still had uh, finished it 4-1 and uh, the two leagues I played before that, uh, which were in the last video, also had a two four ones in a row. So this deck just was able to consistently uh, perform uh, very well, and uh, getting uh, four four ones in a row is uh, just pretty good. And uh, four Haver might two Wither Blooms command uh, proved to be uh, just very very uh, useful in dealing with the opponent's graveyard hate fatal push was again not needed uh, in this league uh, so uh, not a lot of decks that play doughty so and that's the only reason why i need it so it wasn't necessary in this league again and uh, uh, that's it okay i hope uh, hope uh, i think this league wasn't maybe the best uh, opportunity to see uh, the deck in action because the opponent had kind of uh, uh, some of the opponents had the weird hands uh, or I had uh, just awkward hands but you could really see uh, in those two three very good uh, interesting matches you could see uh, the grief in action that uh, uh, like a lot of situation I was able to scam the grief uh, to make it really really uh, good uh, really useful and uh, I was able to even finish one match uh, like I made all damage in the all 20 damage with just a turn one scam grief. He was really good there. Uh, otherwise, it would be a very hard game um, because uh, of the all the amount of uh, hate my opponent had, the Doty, Sanctifier, plus Lion Sash, and the Gear of Runes. So it would definitely be a problem. Uh, but uh, I was able to win uh, through all that because of uh, turn one grief and uh, uh, yeah okay so I uh, hope you liked the deck list uh, hope you liked the grief gameplay and uh, I think this uh, this version is a really fun one a really strong one too and uh, I think this is the version I will continue playing uh, in the future I really like the ability of having the grief in the main being able to uh, get rid of uh, some of uh, the hate uh, post board but also in main board to be better against some uh, harder matchups and deal with uh, problematic cards early also sometimes uh, you're able to just uh, uh, pitch cast grief without malakris rebirth to trigger uh, the venge wine early which can be really nice just to triggering the venge wine discarding uh, important card from opponent's hand for free by exiling card you don't need from your hand like creeping chill or amalgam you probably won't play as soon so uh that's it okay so hope uh, you like the list again uh hope you like the gameplay if you want to help the channel click uh, subscribe I click like and uh, that's it uh, for today. Uh, goodbye.